you like um, old bitch, little old bitch back yep. there. What's up, old bitch? I love that. Is that, wait, are you facing forward? Because it looked like a big old booty. No, that he's a monster. He's facing forward. He's got a belly. I do. Yeah. No, I that's do. for... Uh, it's very tempting to just reach over and lift it off and I start chugging. That's why I have it here. Yeah. It's for decor and liqueur. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rexy. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And he pulls Instagram. Instagram. Bang! It's juicy in your armpit. Person on YouTube channels in the description below. Today we're doing a movie review. You little, you little, you little, you little turds. Uh, <laughs> what you're here for, you little nut biscuits. Hold on, I think we're a little crooked here. That's all right. They don't care. They just will turn their head sideways. Now we're really crooked. You sure you haven't had a meal bunk already? Maybe. I think it's already kind of half empty. Anyways, today we're doing a Marathi film. Uh, and this is a highly requested one. Our eighth Marathi film. I think it's more than Our that. 56th this year, our 182nd to all time. I think we're more Marathi films than that. I don't think so. I looked at the list before I come over. The, the playlist? The Google Doc. I thought it was we our... Have. Hold on, I thought it was our ninth. Let me see. Maybe I'm mistaken here. I thought it was up there. Uh, it's either 8th or 9th. Uh, mm, Marathi. No, you're right. Let's right. See. Maybe I was looking at a different one. Yes! Uh, he has had old monk. <laughs> um, but you, so how many do we have total? 180? 182 for all three years. So we'll definitely hit 200 in the next what, two months? Oh, 100% we're going to hit it because we're, we average, there's 17 eight. weeks left in the year. We, we do, do two a week. About eight to 10 a month usually. Yeah, there's 17 weeks left. We do two, so we've got 34 more coming. That's going to put us, we'll, we'll hit 200. Our 200th movie review will happen this year. But we won't get to 100 probably. No, or we'll probably we'll... get to more like 90 as far as like the watch for the year. But that blows... Last year, we we did 60 in 2019, 66 last year. We're going to do 90 this year. We have really upped it. Yep. Anyways, but yes, this is a highly requested Marathi film. We've reacted to, uh, I think, the trailer and multiple songs from this film. Uh, it's called... Oh, God. Katyar Kaljat Julzali. Um, I think... Julzali. I think Gul. Gul. Gus, Gusali. Okay. Gusali. Uh, directed by... Uh, Subach Baivi. Or Bave, I know I'm mispronouncing that, forgive and me. And starring... Um, and forgive us for mispronunciations, we try. Uh, Sachin Pilgonkar, Shankar Mahadevan, mm -hmm. and Sudo Dbav. And then Amruta... Amruta Kambilkar. Um, this is basically a clash of two musical families. Well put. Where in the end, music is the winner. Ah. Uh, <laughs> when greed takes the front seat... Mi Manipulations oh. shift gear. A race starts, a race that kills whomever cross, comes across the, uh, the way. A race that ultimately ends on the losing side. Okay, this is way too much for yeah, a synopsis. Yeah, that's a lot of a synopsis. <laughs> that's, that's one of those over pitches. Yeah, you could have just ended at uh, two musical families and greed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's come out in 2015. It was behind a Spence Sport Review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. And Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, my favorite Marathi film we've seen thus far, ultimately for me, it's, because the number one thing in a movie is story. Uh -huh. I think this story is absolutely fantastic. It got better as it started. The first like 35, 40 minutes was uh -huh. like, this is fine. I'm, I'm liking this. Cinematography's pretty. Um, I, I want to be even more invested in this. And then it just took a turn for me where I was fully invested. When? It has some, it has some, it has some flaws that uh -huh. for me are utterly forgivable yeah. because so much of it is so worth watching yeah. and enjoying. I enjoyed it as well. It's not my favorite Marathi film we've seen, um, but it's, man, it, it is hard to not like a film that is 90% classical Indian music. Like, I think that, like, it's mostly music in this so with a music. little bit of acting scenes. So much music. Like, literally, like, the, like, it seemed like every five minutes there was another classical song. And I was like, okay, I'm just, this is going to be amazing. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here and literally just be engulfed by beautiful classical Indian music and some of my favorite singers. Um, do you know who 
Was no, our singers? I don't know who our singers were. Well, you do know one. Well, yes. Sh Shankar Mohammed. Yeah, Mohammed. Mush Kale, buddy. Oh, really? He was the, the, the second, the guy that came in at the end who he wanted to kill. Got it. His voice was awesome. Mahesh Kale. He won an award for well, this. Well, I, who, I, for but, me, I just was so impressed by both the singing and the impeccable lip syncing mm -hmm. that. That must have been so difficult for classical music. Man, I like automatic, like, I will agree with you. Automatic lip syncing is. Not an easy thing, as easy as people think it is. Special, but especially yes. when you're doing like insane classical, like the da da whatever they were doing, right? I absolutely. I, like, how do you match Mahesh Kale, Shankar Mahavad, and, and these other insane, like gifted gods of music? Yeah, that's unforgiving. You you, you can't make a mistake. Yeah. Because if you make a mistake, it, it the believability goes out the window. Mm -hmm. That's why in my I'm really trying to make a scale. That's fair. That kind of can give a grade to a film based on certain factors. I've been yeah. doing that for a while. And the two most important things at the top of the list: number one is story, because yeah. movies are storytelling. Yeah. And then number two is believability, which incorporates a lot of factors into the believability. I, I would include in the believability factor things like continuity, makeup and hair, uh, even production design, yeah. that uh, the costuming. That all goes into the. Uh, believability factor. Acting, of course. And, and then acting is my next one right underneath yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's story, believability, acting, directing. And then the, also the screenwriting, because you can have a great story and bad screenwriting. Mm -hmm. It's not the story's fault. You can have a great story concept and you're like, man, I wish I had a different screenplay. And I felt like this had all of it. I really liked. There were a, a few small moments of things that are, so for example, here's one of the things where believability goes out the window, but you can forgive it when our uh, antagonist slaps his daughter when he backhands her, he missed. I mean, when you see it, he doesn't yeah. even come close to hitting her. Yeah. But it's, for me, it's utterly forgivable. Yeah. All the other things considered. Um, my favorite, let's talk about the, uh, my favorite part, of course, I don't know if it's your favorite part, but the music, that's, I, it's- absolutely. The story is my favorite story. The favorite part, and the music. Yeah. I like and the story the a lot, but yeah, the music is absolutely insane. Like I said, if this, if I had to, I think this is three fourths music, and a fourth, like actual like acting storytelling, like in terms of dialogue. And impeccable, because right, because you're supposed to believe these are two of the most spectacular vocalists alive. Yeah, and you do. Yeah, you oh. believe it 100. percent Oh, 100. percent um, So I'm, I, 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 if you like that, if you like Indian classical music, I'm gonna find it hard to believe that you don't like this film. Like, uh, I like this one. Because the last movie we saw about Indian classical music was The Disciple. The Disciple, another Marathi film. Another Marathi film, but I personally like this, this one's a, one This more. one's a lot more commercial, for sure. That one's more... It's more it, watchable. That one's more independent. Like, it's... Artsy. It's artsy. Yeah. Uh, even though this one's very artsy as well, but yeah. Uh, it's, I'd say three-fourths music, a fourth, uh, like, regular dialogue. Because uh, there's a lot of music in this, and it, uh, you could just... I thought we reacted to, I think we reacted to two songs, and I was like, okay, we've seen a lot of the songs. We had, we didn't know. We had no we idea. We saw 10% of it. <laughs> no idea. But we did see some of the, like, the amazing Firefly one that they did. Uh-huh. Shankar Mahavadan's voice is, like, incredible. And I don't know who the other person that, that was the singer for, um... Sachin uh, Pilgunkar? Yeah, I don't know who his singer was. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but he was incredible as well. And then I, I didn't know Mahesh Kale was the singer, mm -hmm. but when he started singing, you I recognized, recognized it. it. I was like, I know. I was like, is that Mahesh? Because he has a very distinct cry to him, right? Yeah, he does. That we've talked about. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's insane. So like all of them and their in, in beautiful, beautiful music. It was literally like watching a um, Dabar festival. Yeah. Where, for two and a half hours. Yeah, it was. Uh, and so it was incredible. I thought the performances were really, really good mm -hmm. uh, by all of our leads. And everybody. Including Shankar Mahavan, who I didn't know he was actually like an actor actor. I thought, and maybe he's not, maybe this is all he did. I don't know. Um, I know him from being a playback singer and a regular singer, Breathless, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Right. He's a pretty darn good actor. Yeah, and I felt everybody did a good job. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see, that, well, except for one person. Well, what a surprise. The white guy. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, not the white. Yeah, he do. They're not good. But uh, I didn't like the henchman for um, Sachin. Oh, okay. I didn't like his henchman. I got it. I got um, it. I understand. That was like. The, but those, it didn't. They didn't bother me. No, it didn't ruin the film. But those were the only ones that I I didn't appreciate. <laughs> it was. It was almost like they were play, playing like 
Disney henchmen. Yeah, or like, like Disney character henchmen. I guess because it was very Shakespearean, right? Uh, it, it, that's what, what I'm going to get to. Get to Rosencrantz and Guildenstein. Very, yeah, uh, Guildenstein. But I, I didn't like their interpretation. If that's sure. what they were going for, sure. But um, um, Shankar, I thought, did a really good job. I think he brought some genuineness and some. You really care for him, just in yes. his eyes. He, he has very caring eyes, and yes. I was like, that's that's something that is. I I don't know if it's. I think it's something that you're automatically born with in terms of. I don't know if that's an acting ability. It's it's more of like a, you just John Candy has it. It's John Candy is not known for acting. He's a hilarious actor and he's yeah. he's really good at what he did. But he's not like a thespian. No. But you he has eyes that you just you care for. You love yeah, John he's Candy. An instant instantly care for the guy. And I feel like Shankar Mahavanan brought that that's same a good energy to him. That's not a good that comparison. he was playing a comedic role. No, but that's a very good comparison. Yeah. And yeah, the my. I, this would make a, such a good play. Oh, 100%. They it filmed is, it like a play. It is so theatrical, so Shakespearean. Uh, the climax and the way everything resolves is so fulfilling. Um, I, I was thoroughly invested, and most especially, the thing that... Uh, I don't know how you can be an artist of any kind. Singer, dancer, actor, and not relate to this in some way. Most especially, like one of the one of the most moving moments for me was when he's talking to uh, the the daughter, yeah, and who he loves, and he's explaining why he came back and why he's doing what he's doing, and that he has this recurring dream all the time, and the dream that he has is that he's on the podium mm. and he sings his stuff, and then the people who are his mentors that he looked up to, that are the best of the best, say to him, "Good." keep singing and I I don't know why any artist would I mean that is the sole purpose mm -hmm. behind why like why I wrote when I wrote Barbarian if you don't know what that is it's, it's a one person play that I do and when I wrote it I wrote it because I wanted to do because I've never I had never written anything other than short scenes mm -hmm. but I wanted to do two things I had a question because I was continuing to pursue acting dreams and I went okay am I as good as I think I am and will other people say I'm as good as I am? Because if I'm not, then I shouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. And it was really a test for me to see, will, what, am I as, it's, it's one thing to believe you can do it, it's another mm -hmm. thing to actually go out and do it. Yeah. And so I so empathized with that, it got me emotional. And then at the very end point, mm -hmm. all of the surrounding culminations of character development and growth and where everybody goes, I just, and, and the, the way that last shot is framed with the dagger in the water, mm. uh, there were some beautiful shots cinematography wise that just, again, any of the small things that I thought were uh, missed or were a problem were utterly forgivable because so much of it is so worth, ha especially this story about art and that yeah. last, the last thing of music. What art means. What, what it means yeah. and that nobody owns it and the difference between uh, Pandit Ji's response to this young man coming up who he beats every single year, but loving his gift. Because mm -hmm. for him, it's about the art form. It's about, and that's what we talk about all the time. Yep. It's about elevating the art form and we don't care who does it. It's available to everybody. It's not a competition, it's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about the film. Yeah, and that was, it was a great scene because it was an interesting dilemma because at the end, you know, where he was like, yeah, I want to kill him. Yeah. And I, I have a right to. I have a right to. Can I kill him? Are you going to... And I was like, wait, what? Right. But then it kind of convinced you. And I was like, this is interesting. Obviously, no, he shouldn't kill him. But, like, this is an interesting dilemma they've created at the very end. Out yeah. of a almost, like, absurd concept of... Especially for now. I was yeah. Like, you'd never kill somebody for, you know, stealing, plagiarizing, essentially. Of course. What they were, he was accusing him of, essentially. Of course. Um, but, like, it was, like, so interesting. But I thought it was shot done, acted, written like a, like so a play. Well. Yeah, like a play. I, I could so easily, and would love to see this done as a play, it could, the, yeah. the challenge you would have are finding actors who can sing like that. You'd ha I think you'd have to get playback singers. Yeah, I, I, I just, I just, you'd have to get either, <laughs> you'd have to get Mahesh Kale, you have to get the Shankar Mahavadan back. They should get, they should get an award for the lip syncing. Oh, 100%. Because their, their, their lip syncing was just off the charts. And when, we're not singling out, for example, each of the performances because I felt like every everybody's performance was was solid. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I thought I thought Sh Sh Sachin 
did a really good job as the antagonist mm -hmm. and um you, you, especially the 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 arc he went through in terms yes. of like you're like oh he's getting a shot at the beginning and then he just turns into like this maniacal asshole because right. he's filled with greed, greed. And, very luciferian yeah very luciferian character mm -hmm. um and then uh when he came in i thought he had great chemistry uh with uh the entire cast, and he had, he had great screen presence. Mm -hmm. Chemistry he had with the girl, I thought yes. was really, really good. Totally believe him. Um, so I, he was a he was a nice addition. I thought the king did really well. I did too. Uh, and it, please tell me if I'm wrong. I, I thought I, I thought that looked like she hit stepmom. His the the queen or uh, oh oh yeah. And she's there's like six people left to, listed on IMDb. Um, and I don't know that you say that she, in her eyes, it looked like her. Yeah. So it, I don't see her on here. It could be something totally different because obviously they do not have the entire cast on here. Right. There's eight people, right? Nine people on IMDb. So if that was her, please let me know because she didn't speak much, but. <laughs> so, but eyes. so Zarina uh, Amruta Kanvokar, that was, that was his, uh, Sadashiv's love interest, right? Uh, either his Zarina. love interest. Or, yeah, yeah, and then the sister. The one, yeah, the, the one. The, the other one was the one who confronts our antagonist, and she had some really great scripted lines of challenging the greedy bastard who's just so self-absorbed. Oh, did you? Uh, one of the moments that was just heartbreaking is when they he walks in and catches him singing, mm -hmm. and he cracks the and record. He cracks the records. Did you want to punch him? I, that was a beautifully written part of the story to make that part of it where the only memory you have of the guru whose voice was magical for you, I'm going to crush it under my feet. Oh, yeah. What an um, <laughs> my Some of my parts that, that, that would have, if, if I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking here is it was a little predictable. I didn't mind it, but I knew where the story was going eventually. I knew that he would probably come to a head in terms of he needed it, but then he would accept him in the end. I was kind of predictable in that way. Not that it, it ruined it, but it's just, it didn't, it, nothing in this, I don't think, surprised me throughout. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's, it didn't ruin anything, but if, I, if I'm nitpicking here, that was like one of the things. It's like nothing, I knew what was going to happen from when he turned right. to the very end. I was like, he's going to end up, you know, kind of accepting it in the end, finding that he was. He was wrong and he was full of greed. Right. Uh, that, and then some of the supporting characters, specifically the, 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 the henchmen, henchmen, and of course the white guy. Uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, that was the only part of the story I thought was useless. Yeah, I, I didn't really, I, I guess it was because they were under British rule at the time and they yeah, felt the need to have it in there. Um, Wouldn't need it. Um, but, because he's the one who planted the idea mm. in him to do what he did and he's almost there kind of you know, a tempting figure, as it were, but I felt like he was, he didn't need him at all. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I thought the, the cinematography was really pretty. I thought really the, pretty. the production design was incredibly really beautiful. Really great. Almost like Sanjay Leo Bansali esque at times in terms of how, how like, clean and pretty it was. It was time. exactly what you would expect if this had been a successful play to have turned the play into a, a because it, it kept, it was believable but it wasn't real. Yeah. It, it was kind of stylized yeah. so that this place that you were in, you knew it wasn't a real place and what you were seeing was theatrical, but it wasn't so stylized that it was over the top or yeah. weird. Yeah. It, it was it was really good. Yeah, I thought, yeah, uh, I don't know what else we can say about it. It was just, it was, it was a really, really nice, enjoyable film. If you like classical music, I want to hope you're still not here. And, and great storytelling. Yeah, yeah, and great storytelling. You're, you're just going to enjoy it. It's... <laughs> So you'd say it's your favorite Marathi film? Yeah, without question. Even the even though you really enjoyed the um the what was the 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 one about the movie making because you, you really liked that one. I did. Well, again, you know why? It's same same same. Uh, they, it goes back to story, and when you have a story, it's funny. It's why the Academy likes films like Birdman, because when you have a movie about movies, mm -hmm. or you have a a, a film about art. Mm -hmm. That, to me, it's like you couldn't. There's few things I could say that are better for you to tell a story about for us to remember the lessons and the moral to the story about elevative artistry. And I can count only a handful of things that we've watched that actually directly talk about the importance of art and mm -hmm. how it shouldn't be perverted and how it should be upheld and how it should be yeah. celebrated. And this, 
Whereas the other one, which is about movies, is a beautiful historical thing to never forget. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit of a higher level for me because it's talking about the very principles that all artistry are built upon and all artists should uphold. So yeah. that's why this gets the edge. We've seen me. a lot of really good Marathi films, honestly. Yes, we have. They're all really high artistry. Not Samurai is just the one that I, I think we appreciate the least. Even though we said it was, I think, a good film, it's just uh, in comparison to Side Rot is probably my favorite still. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that film. Uh, Court, Court was Court a great a, film. This one's more watchable than Court, yeah. but in terms of just an incredible artsy film. You feel like cinema. Like it's, Court's, Court's spectacular. Just incredible. But this one is more like watchable. You got a bunch of songs, you got, uh, you have it's to be- pretty to look at. Yeah. It's a simple story to follow, a, a lot like some of Shakespeare's. This is almost like but we some of his more mild tragedies because because yeah. like like merchant of venice is a tr it's always on the border between for folks yeah. where it's not you know i was waiting to see where this was going to go at the end if it was mm -hmm. going to have a hamlet kind of a twist and yeah. just go bonkers and everybody's all jacked up yeah or it ended more like his comedies do with great moral of the story and everybody's happy and, yeah yeah uh but i think all the marathi films i've seen we i would recommend Kilo, yeah disciple the disciple Andrew, Fan uh, the, the factory one, not some rod. rod, not some rod. I, it's very similar in terms of um, Malayalam, Bengali. We see a lot of really good art films coming out of the Marathi industry. So uh, let us know what you thought about this film. What should be the next Marathi film that we should watch? I think, unless I'm wrong, I think I might have a Marathi film for Halloween month. Ooh. I think. But I got a whole slate of stuff I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for, for Halloween month because we're going to actually have a full month of thriller scary films. Awesome. Um, so, but let us know what the next Marathi film we should watch is down below. Mm -hmm.